So I want to talk to you about a very important subject, <clears throat> and that subject is the subject of harmonics. And if you were a child and you sang in a choir, you understand harmony. If you're a musician, you understand what harmony is, you understand chords. Harmonics and resonance are sacred sciences. They allow us to connect with things that we would not otherwise be able to understand or interact with. So there's a couple of easy illustrations to help you tune into what I'm talking about. Uh, one is the illustration of a glass. And if a glass is subjected to certain tones or to a singer's voice, what happens is that the, the atoms, the molecules in this glass begin to resonate. And if the resonance reaches the right qualities, the right frequency, what will happen is that this glass will shatter. And that's an example of, of resonance. Um, I think of harmonics as being like octaves on a scale. If you, if you know what the note C, middle C is in one octave, then you should be able to train your mind to hear the C note in another octave. That's an example of harmonics. And how this is important to us on the spiritual path is that most of the information that we can receive through meditation, through reflection on sacred art, through reflection on nature, is by tuning in to information that's coming to us. <clears throat> a tree, a flower, all of these things have their own energetic signature. They all have their own resonance. And if you're familiar with the work of Rupert Sheldrake, he has a con uh, concept called morphic resonance. And basically what morphic resonance says is that things can exist because there's a vibrational template for them. That a thing can come into existence in matter, like a butterfly, because there's an energetic template that is the butterfly resonance or the butterfly energy. These things are closely related and maybe you'll want to check for yourself, to you, what is the difference between resonance, frequency, and harmonics. But I can tell you from what I've seen and what I have been shown and understand that these concepts are central. There was recently a event on the planet called Fire the Grid. And what Fire the Grid was about was to take a certain moment of time, and you've seen these events the last few years, harmonic resonance, harmonic concordance, fire the grid, and what these do is that they get many minds, many souls to come into resonance around a concept or a chant and to begin to take the interconnections of the planet and to begin to tune them in synchronization with each other. Typically, um, this is what happens when a system goes from one state to another. There is a new sequence, a new frequency, a new inner relationship of resonance that's established, and the system is able to change from one state to another. But it requires some amount of synchronization, some amount of relatedness back and forth. And this is what resonance will help you to understand. Um, you can resonate with the energy of a dog. What does the dog energy feel like? What aspects of the dog energy are like a human? The humor, the loyalty, etc. Um, what is the resonance of a rose? And why is the rose a sacred symbol? The spikenard, the oil that was used in the New Testament. A tree, a leaf, all of these things have a resonance. And if you can tune into the resonance, the resonance, the vibration that's there, is not just an energetic imprint of that thing. 
but it contains real information.